Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. Trust in the window, winter time's no reason to stay. If I don't be home by morning, look for me out Frisco way. It's a long way to Frisco, gotta get an early start. It's a long way to Frisco, man, it's not half as far. Is that how I've been traveling, trying to get true to your heart? It's never been a carousel. Our love's a roller coaster. It's never been a carousel. It's you said, she said, he said, they said, and now I say it fairly well, Alberta. Those northern lights are bound to fade. There's frost in the window. Winter time's no reason to stay. If I don't get home by morning, look for me out Frisco Way. Out Frisco Way. Thank you. I'm Bruce Archer from Baxter, Minnesota, and I play country blues style music grounded in, you know, old style, old time and the roots. And when did you first get into music? My friends and I way back in high school in the 70s were, you know, it started off driving around in cars singing along and then this guy in gym class, I'd be singing some Beatles song and say I can play that on guitar. And after a while it started uh, kind of getting to me and I thought, I think I want to play that on guitar. So I was 16 and got a, my first guitar and just kept learning it, anything I could. When I went to college at Iowa State, I'd go to these local bars that had regional musicians come in and I just watch the guitar players and then it just kind of went from there, you know. This one's called Think About It. I wrote it quite a while ago. Whenever I play it, my wife says, I need to tell you that uh, I didn't even know her when I wrote it, so it's not about her. Think about it, babe. Where do we go from here? If we walk away, will the trouble disappear? One minute we're happy, the next we're sad. One minute we're loving, the next we get mad. Nighttime come around and I'm left sitting in the dark. I guess I got a ticket to a confusement park. I want to think about it, babe. Where do we go from here if we walk away? Will the trouble disappear? Fight about the kitchen, fight about the sink Who's gonna do the dishes, who's gonna make the drinks Fight about the garbage, we fight about the lawn I think I got your message, but before I move on Oh, 
We fight over the telephone, we fight out on the deck, we fight in all the way from home like a classic train wreck. Fight out in a front yard, we take it to the street, we fight on or about the car and we never miss a beat. Think about it, babe. Where do we go from here? If we walk away, will the trouble disappear? I'm getting good and ready to go in and get some sleep. My nerves are still unsteady, but this argument can keep. I know I shouldn't sleep on it. We should work it out. But I believe it's time to shut this roller coaster down. Think about it, babe. Think about it, babe. Thank you. The first couple of years, even though I thought I was ready, you know, to just go out there, I, I mainly was, you know, sitting in my room or there was one place I lived that I shared rooms with uh, three other people and then there was this like six bunk bed uh, room where we all slept and I found myself practicing in the phone closet a lot. But after about maybe three years of playing, I got confident enough there was a place called the Catacombs on campus in Ames. And I'd go there and play, it was open stage. And there was a lot of young musicians, very receptive audience. And I played there maybe about a year and a half. And then I got a, my first ever gig at a pizza place. They had a stage set up in the basement with a bar. And they said they'd give me 20 bucks. And I was thrilled. So I went and played and some of my friends came from the dorms and it went good. The bartender really liked me. He gave me, he said, I'll give you 40 bucks. And, and here, go talk to this guy. It turned out to be a guy who owned a music store downtown and he had a couple bluegrass bands going and he heard I played slide guitar. But what he wanted was dobro. So he taught me a couple of banjo rolls on the dobro and said I could come play a gig with them. And I did, trial by fire. And then that got me on my way to the kind of the style of bottlenecking I play, where at its heart, it's based on what that guy all those years ago showed me on, on the dobro with the hammering on, pulling off, and the guy was a real inspiration. I'm going back to Wright County where the slow Boone River runs to the heart of Boone Valley. Moon and sun, moon and sun. I'm gonna see my sister Mary. She stayed on in our hometown. I'm gonna leave bags of carrying lay them down lay them down feel the sun shine down on in the summer days winter moon glows on a frozen pond heartstrings tied to better days that don't move on don't move on gonna work with my brothers I'll stay on until the harvest is done live and die by the dirt and weather till the kingdom comes till the kingdom comes I'm going back to Wright County where the slow Boone River runs to the heart 
up Boone Valley That's where my sun, moon and sun It's a recent song based on being back where, where your roots are and, and seeing things there and seeing the way people live. Because when I left that area, some of the things I thought were really boring and, and just like, why would I want to do that? Why well, want to be a rock star? I never wanted to actually be a rock star. I wanted a niche. I wanted a, you know, I want to be a recording artist. I don't want to be this, that, and the other thing then stay here. But, you know, as years go by, it's like, it turns out those things are real. I mean, now I'm a dad and it's great. I wish I would have started earlier. And that's what that song's kind of about. Having a newfound respect in the song I call her Sister Mary, but having a newfound respect for Sister Mary who stayed in our hometown. And I can leave all my baggage somewhere else and go back and visit and have that feeling of like being on vacation in your own past, thanks to her staying there. And then another one's uh, Rosie the Nights. And it was towards the end of my last trio, it was kind of a, I'll use a phrase that was referred to us in uh, Twin Cities Reader, country punk trio. But kind of towards the end there, when I was getting ready to step back from things, it Rosie the Nights turned out to be the hardest part. And it's about when I first came to Minneapolis, you have all these expectations, which maybe you should try not to. But, you know, it doesn't turn out the way you want. So it's a song about kind of coming to terms with like, okay, I'm, now I'm ready to take the next step and this is where I'm at. And it's not the happiest place to be, you know, it's, it's hard. And this person had talked about it with people that lived, you know, where he had lived before. That's all right, it's me. I'm the guy in the song. <laughs> so, you know, and then you, you get there and then after like 16 years of trying at something, you just want, start wondering, wow, would those people even know me? for who I am now after going through all this stuff. Here's another city song. You can tell by some of these songs I'm playing at the first part here that part, there are things I didn't like about living in the city. Well, I see the glitter, but I can't find the gold. Downtown like winter, turning cold. And all the city slickers are talking bold. I'm burying a picture of somewhere I call home. Rosie, the nights turn out to be the hardest part. Rosie, the nights. How'd you get to be so hard? Rosie the nights. About a hundred times I drove away from this town. The sirens of the night turned my head around to that silver horizon star come to ground. Fill your head with promises you stand on sacred ground. Rosie the nights. Turn out to be the hardest part Rosie the nights How'd you get to be so hard Rosie the nights Said we know about what paved the streets And I'm here to tell you, Rose, it's only concrete Rose, you put your arm in mine and See if you can see anything left That reminds you of me Rosie, the nights 
turn out to be the hardest part Rosy the nights How'd you get to be so hard Rosy the nights Rosy the nights Rosy Thank you. The hallowed land. Built on the plain of the Buffalo Creek And she go waiting in the clear water He come with roses and gather green To court the carpenter's daughter He asked her hand and he gave her a pledge. Said he'd be honest, he'd be true. They married in the church above the arrowhead and walls to the yellow moon. And the seasons run. With a tiller in the hand By the storm and flood The name is the hallowed land Seven kids come in ten springs time Each one baptized in the clear water Singing songs of summer and shiny Christmas tides And learning things from the Father And the seasons run By the tiller in the hand In the name of sweat and blood They claim this hallowed land
I stayed on the plain the Buffalo Creek And she come wading in the clear water He come with roses and evergreen And court my youngest daughter And the season seen The chiller passing hands It was a rose in the evergreen That made this hallowed land Hallowed land Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about what it's like to be a musician in northern Minnesota. How would you describe kind of the experience of performing up here and stuff like that? I stepped away from music in Minneapolis in 93, 94, thinking I'd be out a couple of years and kind of reorient myself. And then, you know, a series of, I guess, that, what's that saying about life comes at you while you're making plans or something? And then we had a, started having a family, and I was, I've been a stay-at-home dad since uh, 02. And so once the kids got a little older, then I could start playing again. So my experience actually playing up here started last April. And part of what kind of inspired me to like start getting gear and check, you know, my guitars were old. I had to, I got a couple new guitars. I started getting things ready because breweries were popping up. And it seemed like the type of intimate environment where, you know, you could, it's similar like to maybe the coffee houses at a certain point in the 80s and what I've read that they were like in the 60s. I thought, well, there's potential there. And if you can get in quickly, maybe that'd be a place to play and, you know, that's been my experience is mainly playing breweries and generally they seem to be fairly open to original music and stylistic renderings of cover tunes and things. I'm, I'm still trying to record on my interface unit to at least have something I can sell at a gig. Mainly so people hear the song, not to make money as much as if you hear my songs then I think, but my theory is, that I'm kind of betting this on, is that if you're more familiar with my songs, then I play those the best anyway. So then maybe, then you know, enough people will come that I'll keep getting hired, because that, you know, that's a bottom line, you need to draw people. Things like this, though, are great, where you have a listening space and people will listen. But if you keep plugging away, and getting your music that you like and your style in front of people, then hopefully people will like it and come out and see you. Here we go. Well, me and my buddy, me and my buddy, playing that same old game, walking that same old beam. Northwest, southeast, only get tired of feet out. And time stands still here, nowhere still. Well, me and my buddy Abe, me and my buddy Abe, playing that same old game, playing that same old game. 
Waiting on payday, one more payday, just one more before the fair. Brown I'm there, say she'll be there, hey, hey. Buddy Eves, play that same old game, play that same old game. Time stands still here in Noelleville, and then it flies. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.